Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, 'cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry, 'cause we both know it's gonna hurt, but not as much as this does. We had a good run, don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I. Hello, let me know if you can hear me. How are we doing on this nice Sunday? I'm, <laughs> I'm watching the poll. Y'all were scaring me for a little bit. I really thought y'all were going to pick Young Living. Thank God. I mean, I would have done it. <laughs> but <laughs> it wasn't my first, uh, first choice. Catching a life on my laptop and everything. Yay, welcome. I need to go edit something in the, on the live really quick. Let's see. What have y'all been up to this weekend? I pretty much, we, I've, I've not done much. We, in our house, we haven't done much this weekend. Which has been nice, I guess you could say. It's pretty nice. Oh, I need to do customization. Mm, 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 mm. Um, that's not what I wanted. Go back, go back. Thank you. Uh, stop. Jeez. All right, there we go. Okay, subscriber only mode. That's what I was trying to do. Cool. Mr. Collins is just so much. She's a lot. She is. She is a lot. I'm trying to pull a report for you, Julie Joe, on Melissa Collins. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you, DC. Why Young Living? Is there anything special? Um, I mean, I got a lot of stuff from someone on Young Living, and I got I got a long video. I, I don't know if I would say special. Um let's see. 
I mean, there's I got a lot of stuff on Young Living, so I just more options. Let's call just some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Reagan. Hello. Welcome to those that have finally made a stream. I'm so glad that you're here. Vicky Vicks, baby bye. That's right. That is what this song is called. This is the intro song. I had a nice bubble bath. My Sunday self-care routine. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love bubble baths. Math arts, math art and science homework all weekend. Mm. Yikes. Well, I hope that you enjoy that. I hope you're having a good time. Making some stained up glass art. That's wonderful. That I that's be I love stained glass. It's beautiful. At the gym right now, so having a cut of life. Well, I'm glad that you're here listening in. I've been staying inside today due to torrential rain and high winds. Ooh. The line from Young Living to measles outbreaks is unvaccinated kids. And unvaccinated kids is a straight line, and I could write a thesis on it. You know what, Hannah P? Say. <laughs> you're right. There is very much some weird. The pipeline is strong with that one. Hey, baby. Happy Sunday, Linwe. Uh, member for 22 months. Oh my gosh, you've almost been here for two years with me. I'm so glad that you're here. Yay. That's awesome. Definitely still here for it. Oh, good. I'm glad. Um, who's winning? Melissa Collins. Yeah. Okay. So, so this one might be, this one is a little different video from Melissa Collins because it is a training video, but it's not one of her Facebook videos. It's a, a Vimeo video. And I want to shout out to Charlene for sending it to me. Um, I woke up from a nap about two minutes ago before you started. Perfect. Perfect. Tea Sunday. I'm ready. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, I'm glad that you're here. I'm, I'm glad that you woke up for, from the nap. Here we are. Got dressed and brushed my hair. That's my major success for the day. And you know what? That's a success, I would say. Quite the success. I've been binge watching your videos. Oh, thank you so much. It's really nice. I'm glad that you enjoyed them. Amy said, hey, Julie Joe. hope you're having a good day. Do you like to read? I'm reading this freaky book called None of This is True. I do like to read. I've just started reading again. Um, people still use Vimeo? Wild. Yeah, they do. And um, I finished three books in like four days. It was kind of wild. I didn't realize I read that fast. Because it's been so long since I read a book that I, just to read for fun. Not like, I usually read just school books. And I definitely don't read those that fast. Slept in today and making hash browns now. Oh, gosh, I love hash browns. My husband made breakfast potatoes with eggs today and cinnamon rolls. That was good. I ran out of white yarn yesterday that I need to finish an Amy Grummy that I'm crocheting. Oh, cool, Sam. Dang, bibliophile alert. What's that? <laughs> that is. Um, Sam, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Barbie. Um, okay. What? Hi, Ken. My husband said, hi, Ken. Because <laughs> I said, hi, Barbie. Um, hey, babe. Yeah. Book lover is a bibliophile. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. A bibliophile. Yeah. Um, oh, you're a mega reader. Oh gosh. I wouldn't call myself. That. I just, <laughs> well, thank you. That's nice. I, I take that as a really nice compliment. Um, if you're able to get me like a fountain soda, that'd be great. So I was gonna try. But I understand like, if I, you know, if you can't, but I, I must, I must add, I cannot wait till it's in my presence. I'm, I would love a Diet Coke like real fast, but drive safe. Yeah, I'll go to Are you sure? Oh yeah, because if you're gonna go work out, probably be at least another hour or something. Another errand, so I'll just get that Are you sure? Yeah. That's nice. Drive safe, yeah. Love you, bye. Sorry, I had to get my husband to get me a Diet Coke. He's going to get grocery, our grocery pickup thing. Okay. Oh, Kristen said something to take my mind off. My dad being in ICU, my mom in rehab after hip replacement and being sore because I was in a car accident when a car hit me and totally told my car and I am sore. Yay, 2024. Kristen, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad that you're here. I can hope we can bring some laughs. I hope that, you know, gosh, that's just so wild. I don't really know what to say other than I'm glad that you're here. I go straight to my veins. <laughs> right. Okay. So also Melissa Collins' video is longer. It's like an hour and 12 minutes. Um, hour and 14 and it's called content to cash. 
I, we'll give it a shot. And if we just hate it, we can stop, you know, that I'm not like weird about that. And I have plenty of other stuff that we can react to. So if we just hate it and we just can't handle it collectively, we'll just stop and move on. But I thought we could give it a shot. Oh, um, let's try to get 300 likes to be on the video. I thought that was fun that we like had a goal for that. Okay. I'm in the poll. 42. Okay. 42% from Lisa. I thought that was fun. So I have 130 people on right now. Y'all go like it. We'll be almost halfway there. Let's, you want to go ahead and get started from, for the training of content to cash, you know, let's go. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to start over again. My name is Melissa Collins and I am the chief marketing officer at Life Activated Brands. Tell me if you're in the room, in the chat. If I just don't get how, sorry, I, pa I pause it real quick. How the chief marketing officer, the CMO can also have a downline, have, have the like largest downline. I don't, that's like how I feel with Brian Underwood, which by the way, he does have a downline and prove it. How is that even possible? That just, it sound, it seems so illegal and ethical. I don't know. So messed up. Yeah. I feel the same way. And this is the first time you've come to a call with me. Can you just put new in the chat? I want to know how many new people I'm going to possibly offend. All right. That's one. <laughs> There's our girl. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's listen to that again. I was just like, ready? Oh, wait, let me get to it. In the chat, I want to know how many new people I'm going to possibly offend. All right, that's one. <laughs> Same. Two. Oh, man. Oh, no. Three. JLW was in four. corporate. Four. No. Are all the rest of y'all praying? Not the beginning. These folks? <laughs> um, oh, man, there's a lot of y'all that are new. So some of this, what I wanted to say to some of you new people, well, first of all, to everybody, I am going to speak really strongly tonight. So I hope everybody came with big girl and big boy panties on because I. This is our jam, y'all. This is like what we're here for, right? Speak strongly tonight, Melissa. Let's go. Let me brush my hair. I got to get ready. I got your drinks. You ready for Melissa Collins to speak strongly? Does that mean I can speak strongly? Like, can I match her energy? I don't know about that. I just don't know how to talk any other way. We're I just not only know how to be honest. So um, my job is to help you make money. And if that means sometimes shocking you into thinking a different way, then that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Let's go. Digging a hole. Sorry, my son's dog is here and she's like just been. Pay the dog tax. Pay it up. Show me that dog, Melissa. So good all day. Now she decides to dig a hole in the rug. Um, yeah. Hey. So I am going to speak strongly. But also, right, I want to say that some of what I say might feel confusing. This is not an onboarding call. Oh, yeah. In order to get your onboarding, to figure out your back office, to figure out what your launch post should be, to figure out how to set up your socials, that's in the first four steps in the app. Make sure you've downloaded the app and you've done your first four steps. Okay. So you're not going to get that here tonight. And so if you're like, I'm lost, I don't even know where to log in. Well, you need to do your onboarding. So after you enrolled, you got a text that gave you some information on how to get started and definitely use it and definitely follow the steps. Okay. All right. So we're talking about creating content that converts, turning content into currency, right? I mean, the goal is, and the reason we built this automation is so that you guys could do what influencers do, which is post and not do anything else. And I think sometimes people, I don't know if people think I'm actually lying about that or not, but I do not reach out to people. Is there anyone on this call who has enrolled directly to me through an automated process? Either you texted a number or you've done the form. You did the form if you've enrolled recently or anyone on here. There's got to be someone on here who's done that. Um, I, every day I wake up I and I say to myself, Rhonda Lee. Okay. So Rhonda, did I read DC? Are we listening and taking advice from someone who printed the worst planner of all time? Yes. Yes, we are. Hannah P, you are always confusing, Melissa. Mm -hmm. Hannah said, tough love is just a sneaky way to say I'm about to be a dick. Exactly. BA Boss Babe does that so well. Reach out to you or follow up with you or have a closing conversation with you or convince you in any way. No. So I've enrolled almost 1,100 people at Lab personally. Sarah. I have enrolled 
1,100 or almost there. It's right under that number. I don't reach out to people. I still enroll 30 to 50 people a month. I still am the number one enroller every single month and have been for a really long time. That's called cross recruiting. Right. Yes, DC. Also, I mean, she is the CMO, chief marketing officer. So it would make sense why she'd be the number one enroller. I don't know. There's just always something weird about that to me. If you're a CMO, CEO, if you work for corporate and you have a downline number one con artist, which is LapSell, LapSell is lots of different things. Um, it has um, some health and wellness. It has some CBD stuff. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's they're not great. It's not great products. I don't recognize it. You're not right, going to see the boards. I don't do that anymore because I because I'm because I work with corporate and that's and I don't need to and I don't care. But I'm telling you that I'm not telling you that to impress you. I'm telling you that because sometimes people come and get training from me and they're like, yeah, but I heard this other person in this other company that doesn't matter to me at all say this. And so I'm going to do it that way. Wait, and I'm good. like, they enroll three people a month. Like, why? What do you do it? Um, so because some of the things I'm going to tell you. But here's the deal. And here's where I think people who talk to people and enroll in that way have it better. Sure. They might not enroll 1,100 people, but you know what? I bet more people stay longer because why, why wouldn't they? If you had a better relationship with them, if, if y'all were closer to each other, you'd likely stay longer than if you did it through an automated service and didn't really know Melissa. It's all from Melissa. It's all the grift. It's all about the quick cash. She's like, I'll enroll you. I don't care if you stay or not because I've already made my initial income from you. And most people aren't going to make money anyway. So what's the point of them staying? You're going to have her yeah, differently yeah. elsewhere. This, the way that we train and the way that, the way that I build is very, very, very different than probably, I don't know. There's not many people in the industry who do it this way. Yeah. But I know that you want it, which is why we built you the automation we built you. Now, some of you might be feeling frustrated because you feel like no one's putting their name on your form. So the name on the form is step one really okay and then how does it convert so i told you i enroll 30 to 50 people a month i wake up every morning and, I, and my goal is five mm -hmm. i want to put five people on my list and so i build stories and content around that and around noon to see if i'm allowed to take a bath and a nap or i have to work more so i do that in the morning before i get out of bed 7 a.m that's done i don't think about it again i go have breakfast i I bet she has one of the highest turnover rates in MLM. Seriously. I mean, I bet she has one of the highest turnover rates of all top leaders. I don't know what I do. I clearly don't like take showers or do my hair. You can see, right? <laughs> but I do stuff. I don't know. Today I switched laundry or something. And around noon, I go and look at my form. If there's not five people there, I take more action. If there's five people there, I'm like, it's working. See you tomorrow. And I know that that might sound crazy to you. I'm not in a period of extreme grind, extreme growth. If I was, I would do more. But once I get my five, I know I'm good. My form converts at 30%. 30% of the people who are joining my form convert. Um, my customer conversion is about 15%. The median conversion, meaning people who join the form make a buying decision, either they enroll or they buy, the median in the company is 18%. That's a big number. Nah, I don't know. I disagree, but whatever. I've told that number. Guys, I've told that. Conversion turnover, turnover, like the people who leave her. You know what I mean? I hope that made sense. Like people who join her and then leave. That number to some corporate officers at some other major companies. Highest, probably. Big companies. The last one I talked to has over a million reps. And his comment to me was, if you can show us proof of that, we would pay millions of dollars to figure it out. Do you guys, I don't think you understand what we have. Did you show them proof and get millions of dollars? I don't, I really don't understand what you have because you don't share it. I really feel like it's all talk, Melissa. I, I need to see this magic pill, pill. What did I, what does that even mean? Well, magic pill is like product, but this like magic thing that she's doing. Millions, bruh, said no one ever, right. I just don't think y'all understand. 18%, and first of all, 
I don't not happy with 18%. I'm going to get it to 25. I promise you. That's all I work on all afternoon. Every single day is how to notch that number up for you guys. That's my job from corporate. Okay. To make those conversions happen for you. Your job is to collect leads. That's all you have to do is to get people to fill it out. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. And I know that some of you guys are feeling frustrated because you feel like you're doing things and no one's filling out your form. And why is that happening? So, so that's what we're going to talk about. Here's the deal. You have two choices. You can either build authority, grow a network and build authority, or you can reach out for the rest of your life. Those are the only two choices. Build a network and grow authority or do reach outs for the rest of your life. Build a network and grow authority. I don't know how I feel about that phrase. Like, that's it. If you want to do it organically. So if you don't want to do all that gross reach out stuff for the rest of your life, then you've got to learn how to build a network and build authority. The reason here's here comes the the top. DC said, is she not going to acknowledge that people followed her from her pre from her previous company? Never. <laughs> She'll never acknowledge that. So the when we we uh did a live, do you remember a few weeks ago when we did a live when she was uh doing a live with someone on Facebook and that person brought like two or two hundred people with them? Pretty much something like that. And she was like, and she made, and, and Melissa was like, and she got 300 people in so-and-so months or whatever. Do you remember something like that? Authority in what? Being a jerk like Melissa? That's what I'm thinking, Charlene. Tough talk, guys. I'm going to just tell you. The reason no one is filling out your form is because your content, your posts, your stories, and your reels, they suck. I knew she was going to say suck. that. Your content sucks. Okay? Melissa, like, sucks write too. that down. Here's the good news, though. You want the good Melissa. Your content sucks too. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, I said I'm going to match your energy. Your content sucks too. So I don't know what you're like, what are you doing? I don't, I don't get it. Good news. The good news is you can fix that. That's something you can work on and you can fix. So if no one is opting in, it's not because the form doesn't work. I promise you. Someone texted me to check their form. I'm like, the form works. It's not because the form doesn't work. It's not because the color on the form is wrong. The all your content sucks. I mean, there's just no nice way to say it, guys. So you've got to figure out how to fix it. Doing the same thing over and over again when it's not working is craziness. Stop it. Start listening to advice. It's really hard for me. So I, you guys that have been around for a while, you know how actually crazy I am and how I Y'all want to watch, you want to look at some of her content? Let's look. Hold on. Let's look at some of her content. I need to do this in a way. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I can show her content on Facebook because I'm blocked. And I don't know if I can show it from my alt account. Content. Mm. Mm. I can download some. We'll just keep going. Actually do go look at everybody's profile. It is really some days I like have to take a nap from it. I'm, I'm just frustrated because, and some of you get it. Some of you, I, I'm in your messenger and I'm like, why are you doing that? <laughs> Has anyone ever gotten a message from Melissa Collins? Like, stop it. Has anyone gotten one of the, I know you have. Some of you have absolutely what? gotten a knock it off. Stop. What? Why are you doing that message? What? Hold on. I got to hear that again. What? It's not because the form doesn't work. I promise you. Someone texted me to check their form. I'm like, the form works. It's not because the form doesn't work. It's not because the color on the form is wrong. The all your content sucks. I mean, there's just no nice way to say it, guys. So you've got to figure out how to fix it. <gasps> Doing the There's no nice way to say that your content sucks. Really? Really? There's no better way to say that? The same thing over and over again when it's not working is craziness. Stop it. Start listening to advice. It's really hard for me. So I, you guys that have been around for a while, you know how actually crazy I am and how I actually do go look at everybody's profile. That is a bit, that is a bit wild to me. Anyway, so let's go ahead. Y'all want to watch some of our songs?
I, I that's what I was doing. I was downloading um some of her. I, I downloaded like her two most recent reels. Here's one. It's loud though. Be careful. I just want y'all to know that. It's pretty loud. Something good gonna happen in this year. This is the reel. Three things you should know if you want to make money online. Check caption. TikTok. TikTok. Okay. Let's watch that again. Are you for real? Don't worry. I'll show her other one too. These are her most recent. All right. Here is the next one. Point of view, you have an automated system that builds your business so that you actually have time to have fun and build real relationships. MLM training is trash. The new way is here. Stop listening to people shame you to do more. These are these are her reels. These are what she's saying is not is not does not suck. This right here. That. Okay. I have nothing else to add. How's her engagement? How do we find that, Charlene? Look, um, finding someone's engagement. What is it on? Oh, engagement on social media? Uh, I forgot what we looked for it on. I bet you're telling me right now. Social Blade, thank you so much, DC. Social Blade. Okay, let's see. Melissa Collins. That's not her. That's not her. Wait, I gotta find her. Melissa, Melissa Collins. Let's do, oh, that's on YouTube. Let's do Facebook. Collins. Give me one second while I find it, y'all. Uh-oh. Well, her Facebook's not even on there. So let's look at her TikTok. What was her TikTok that we just saw? Um, It said her name on there. Let me look. You're like, Julie Jell, hurry. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going. That's not her. Well, I can't find her. I'm going to look, I'll look up myself. Um... Instagram. Okay. Oh, why can't I see my engagement? Because I have to log in. Well, hot diggity dog. Five thousand followers, is that right? Who? Let me go ahead and continue playing hers and figure out how to log in. Really, I some days I like had to take a nap from it. I'm so, I'm just frustrated because and some of you get it. Some of you I I'm in your messenger and I'm like, why are you doing that? <laughs> has anyone ever gotten a message from Melissa Collins like stop it has anyone gotten one of the I know you have some of you have absolutely gotten a knock it off stop can we hold on can we just hold on can we just look at my engagement rate that's 7.38 percent for my Instagram Can we just, that makes me so happy. Oh my God. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Anyway, um, I'll figure hers out now. Sorry. For that I message. Um, that. And I do that because I love you guys. Cause it's like, what are you doing? Um, but anyway, you have two choices. You can build authority and, and you can grow your followers or you can reach out to people. Now, if you're at the very beginning of this process, you, you and you want you have to make a decision are you going to and this is an important decision and i don't care what your decision is you're not going to get nobody is coming for you nobody is going to come give you a hard time if you don't make sales no one's going to talk to you about you didn't make a rank everybody matters here so this is your decision you can go slow if you're bra okay let's show hers her and i'm not saying this to be an ass but i'm just saying that hers is 0.06%. And she has, I mean, she only has uh, maybe 500. Wait, she has 5,500 followers, which is good. 0.06%. So anyway, 
yeah, she has great content. It's so good. And you can build your own when it's not working is craziness. I'm rewinding so that I can hear it. Stop it. Start listening to advice. It's really hard for me. So I, you guys that have been around for a while, you know how actually crazy I am and how I actually do go look at everybody's profile. It is really, some days I like mm -hmm. have to take a nap from it. I'm, I'm just frustrated because, and some of you get it. Some of you, I, I'm in your messenger and I'm like, why are you doing that? <laughs> Has anyone ever gotten a message from Melissa Collins? Like, stop it. Has anyone gotten one of the, I know you have. Here's the deal. My therapist told me one time, she said, Julie, I said, well, this is happening and this is happening. And she goes, is that your responsibility to do that? I said, what? She's like, is it your responsibility to interfere and blah, 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 blah. I said, I guess not. She said, it's not. So you don't have to, you, you don't have to do that. And I said, touche, <laughs> touche. So Melissa, I just recommend you taking that advice. Some of you have absolutely gotten a knock it off. Stop. Why are you doing that message? Um, and I do that because I love you guys. Cause it's like, what are you doing? Um, but anyway, you have two choices. You can build authority and, and you can grow your followers or you can reach out to people. Now, if you're at the very beginning of this process, you, you and you want you have to make a decision. Are you going to, and this is an important decision and I don't care what your decision is. You're not gonna get, nobody is coming for you. Nobody is gonna come give you a hard time if you don't make sales. No one's gonna talk to you about, you didn't make a rank. Everybody matters here. So this is your decision. You can go slow. I just, I'm just going to say this and we're not going to talk about it, but I'm just going to say it because Ron DeSantis just ended a, his presidential campaign and endorsed Trump. That's it. No one say anything else. <laughs> just wanted to put that out there because my phone told me. Hello, if you're brand new and you can bu build your authority and go and go at your pace, or you can build your authority and you can reach out at the same time. If you're someone who's coming to me and saying, I understand it's going to take time to build authority. And it's going to take time to build a network, like a minimum of 90 days, if you're doing it correctly and you're doing it consistently and you don't have 90 days to wait because you've got an electric bill right. sitting on your counter that you need to pay and you need money next week. Oh, this lady. You're going to have to reach out, guys. Like, you're just going to have to um, if you're in that situation. Sinna? If you're not and you want to build slow and steady then really focus in on content. For those of you who were around before we released this automation, I'm pretty sure I was on these Zooms screaming at you to please do the daily workflow and to go build your authority and build your- Y'all think she was really screaming? I would bet a hundred bucks straight down on this table that she was actually screaming at people, other adults. Network and focus on that. Those of you who listened are benefiting at a really high level right now. The people really? who listened and I watched do it, Okay, then tell me, show me. Listen, if you're going to try to sell this automated system you have, Melissa, you have to have data. You have to have data to show those other large companies. So I know that you have it. Or maybe you don't, or maybe you do and it's really bad. But you have to have data. So show us. Are crushing it with this form. People are opting in. I'm so... If you have no authority, no one is going to fill out your form. Why would I listen to you? You have no authority over me, right? So let's talk about first, yeah. let's talk about, um, there's two important pieces that come with creating content. You have the actual context, the content, like the words or the video or what it is, and then you have the format. So let's talk about the format first, because the format is super easy, okay? Captain first Flamer, of all, right? Make a promise to yourself that you are going to stop wasting your life and making stories and reels without captions. Just stop it. It's laziness and it doesn't work. What you're doing is creating friction in the. That is really funny. Because think about, do y'all remember? I think it was a couple weeks ago, a couple lives ago uh, on Melissa, where she said she's lazy. Like she likes to do it the lazy way. Does anyone, was it, am I losing it? Anyone? No one is wasting their life. They, right, Hermit. That's a good point. I'm pretty sure. 
when was this MC video? I think pretty recent. Charlene sent it to me. I'm pretty sure that she said that a couple weeks ago in a video where she was talking about like, she likes to do it the lazy way and that this is the lazy way. But then she's like, don't be lazy. I'm just, Melissa, hypocritical much? The process. Now, when we talk about raising, um, you remember that raising okay, conversion, how we get more sales is we reduce friction. The big reason why our sales have gone through the roof, why our enrollments are 200% up is because we took a process this enrolling month, and Charlene. selling and we removed like 90% of the friction. What does friction mean? Anyone ever go online on a website to buy something and it's not working and you have to click like six times and you go back and then you got to click it. That yeah, that's what happened to your, um, that's what happened when I went on to her app. Melissa Collins, that's what happened when I went to your app, hon. That's friction. It's annoying. It will stop you. Sometimes you're like, oh, never mind. I don't even need that stupid sweatshirt. I'm not buying that sweatshirt. This, this site is making me mad. That's friction. A lot of you guys are creating friction with your content. You're, the people who are looking at your content are consumers and you're making it difficult for them to consume your content. Think about the way you consume content. Have you, any of you laying in bed late at night or early in the morning watching? This video is from last week, by the way. Content on mute because there's someone else in the room that you don't want to wake up. Anyone doing that? Yeah, of course you are. You're skipping by the stories without captions because you don't know what what she's saying she's that ma, 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 ma. you don't know stop creating stories and reels without captions if you don't know how to do it stop creating them until you figure it out guys for real you've got to stop creating things that no one's going to watch you're just wasting your energy and then you're getting frustrated because no one's consuming your content well didn't we just look at her content didn't we just, didn't we just watch it and go, mm. I feel like she should be looking in the mirror while saying this too and telling herself that. Oh, your content sucks. So stop it. So does yours. Okay. Captions are required. Just, just make that a requirement for yourself. Don't do it without them. Um, <laughs> I will tell you that I am also a super stubborn, super resistant person. We know. Okay. And yeah. I was creating reels in Facebook and that's terrible. So yep. Kimma yeah. finally bullied me enough into creating reels on TikTok. And then I learned how to hit it's, I didn't learn. I just hit a save button. It wasn't even learning. Like I'm. And that's the first reel we saw, by the way, you know, the one where that guy's speaking her husband, that's the first one. Just being ridiculous. I did it once. and was like, okay, she's right. And I'm stupid. And I'm also ridiculous do it in TikTok. I don't care if you post, I don't post them on TikTok. I save them as a draft. I don't even know what I'm doing over there. I'm not really trying to grow a TikTok. Um, I'm, I really only build on Facebook. And so I save them and then I go post them on Facebook, but it's a lot easier to get the captions. It's so much easier. And it's just the whole platform is easier to build reels on. So strongly suggest. Um, the other thing that Kimma taught me was use the music that they're offering you. Stop trying to come up with your own idea and just use the music they're offering you because it pushes it out. You don't need to remove the TikTok logo anymore, Christine. You hit the save button. There's no reason to remove it. You just hit save. Takes two seconds right inside TikTok. So um, it's a- She really has no idea what she's talking about. Uh, as a TikToker, I don't call myself really a TikToker anymore, but I am starting to post on TikTok again. I have almost 100,000 subscribers and I did that from scratch. She really, she really doesn't know. It kind of is embarrassing for me to watch, to be honest. It kind of hurts, you know? Is it to your, it saves it to your, um, your phone camera. Yeah, it does. So that is format, real stories, captions. Um, yes, Nicole. When you are making. Melissa's a top tier scammer in her villain era. Absolutely. A, you know, those, the. A uh, little like if you want to make something look like a meme and you put yeah, just like so. a black background or a red background or those colored backgrounds or the ones with the little emoji with the flowers and stuff, um, choose one and stick to it. Go figure out which one is you and stop deviating. Let, let's look at it this way. 
I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to run Instagram because I only have like 4,700 or followers or whatever. And I don't think that's enough for me to sit here and like tell you how to do it. I also don't even think 20,000 subs is enough subscribers on YouTube for you to sit here and like explain how to do YouTube. But on TikTok, I think like 98,000 is pretty good. And I could probably give you some TikTok tips, probably. But I'm not going to sit here and act like I know Facebook or Instagram or even YouTube super well. Therefore, I'm not going to teach on it or do a live on it or whatever she's doing. And I think she should also not be doing it either. She doesn't know TikTok, Instagram. You, she doesn't know that these very well. And she's also not like growing it very much. And her engagement rate's terrible. Like, why is she doing this when she just doesn't know what she's doing? It's really cringy. Stop. It's not cute. <laughs> Charlene, you're also not going to tell us our content sucks. That's correct. I would never say that to y'all. That's ridiculous. And you know what? Sometimes my content sucks. Listen, I look back at some of my videos and I'm like, how you subscribe to me? I don't know. Because because it's this right. is branding. Okay, so if I almost always use a black, have you ever noticed? I almost always use a black background when I do the Facebook color square thing. It needs to be the same and consistent all the time. And so if your brand is that strange little emoji person, then fine, use that, but use it all the time. I don't personally like those. I think they're, I don't know. I don't, there's something I don't like about them. Something creepy. Um, oh, DC, that's so nice. DC said, I mean, your engagement rates are better than normal for the size of your accounts though, Julie Joe. So I think you have a better position than she does for sure. Thanks. That's so nice. But definitely definitely use Thanks, the Nicole. same color background the color block all the time what happens Super is right. when someone engages with that content and they really really um they really really enjoyed the engagement that they had like something was funny or they had a good conversation in the comments when they see it again and it looks congruous it looks the same their brain tells them to stop and read it because they liked it last time like the vast majority of your decisions and all of your content consumers' decisions are happening in their subconscious. That's why we tell you to post pictures of your face. It's why we tell you to stay congruent with the backgrounds because people are getting used to what your content looks like. They know it's you before they even read the name when you get really consistent with it. Okay, so just stay doing the same for all of it. No, Melissa, I would not do that. I no. know that sounds cute, but first of all, that's more work. And secondly, no, I would not do that. I would just pick one and that's yours. Stay consistent with it. Um, if you want more information specifically on, um, if you want more information specifically on the format, there is a um, training in the app under content creation called the format. Go watch it multiple times until you get it. It's like eight minutes long. Okay. All right. <laughs> what else? Photos and graphics. Guys, you have to show your face. I mean, you just need to knock it off. There's nothing wrong with your face. <laughs> Everybody who loves you loves your face everybody. a lot, right? So you've got to show your face. You have to, you are the brand. You are a brand. Um, and if you never show your face, it's really difficult. So use good lighting. You do not need to have right. perfect pictures. I'm going to have to get up. I have to be back in one second, guys. Monica said she's talking, but not saying a lot. I'm really sorry, but I'll tell you why in a second. Hold on. She got a potty. She got potty. Oh, Mika. Thank you. I have a space heater. Thank you for the super chat. So hi, JJ. Missed the beginning, but my first thought was here we go again. Right. That is so generous. I always appreciate super chats. Thank you so much. Ron. And it just, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. You say use good lighting. So she's really getting DC going, but she doesn't have good lighting. Right. No. Oh, anyone else out there is my age, but like sometimes everything is fine. And then I'm just really hot and I'm just right now really hot. And oh, that no. space heater cannot continue blowing on me. Gotcha, I, get that. I don't, I don't want to have to like, I don't know, jump off a cliff. All right. Yikes. Welcome to 45, Melissa. Um, she's 45. <laughs> Yes, power surge. 
I don't know why I have a sweatshirt on. Um, photos and graphics. If you are not good at graphics, cool. We've done it for you. It's in the content storage bank. Have you guys seen all the automation ones that Tara put in there? Like, we pay someone to do this. It would mean a lot to me if you guys would use the content we pay for. <laughs> Seriously, does that make you feel better? You're not borrowing someone's content. It's paid for. Please go use them. They're great. There's thousands. And I'm pretty sure that there have been several people in multi-level marketing who are like, don't use like content and just post it on your stories. Like, um, don't use stuff that's just made for several people because then several people will post the same thing and it gets weird. Mika became a member. Awesome. Welcome. We got to do our member jam real quick. Let me get my member jam. All right, here we go. And as Mama T says, We're not an MLM. I'm like, oh, yes, we are. What was that, Mama T? We're not an MLM. I'm like, oh, yes, we are. What else does Mama T say? We are an MLM business. We Thank are you. an MLM business. Big fan. Big fan. Thousands and thousands of pieces of content. You guys could get through your first year. Was that like too loud for y'all? Did that burst your bubble? I mean, your ears. Without ever having to figure out Canva by just stealing that content. You can totally do it. So when you when we say, you know, post a test. Of it's so funny that she's acting like it's so uh, revolutionary, but that's really old school. Testimonial. And you get overwhelmed because you're like, oh, I don't have a story yet. Or I don't know. Who, I don't know anyone who has a story. Well, there's thousands of them in the content bank. So go use them. It doesn't need to be your story. All right. Couldn't so right, that's um, graphics. Kind of quiet. Gotcha. I said, take photos with good lighting. Be conscious of the background. Like a big pile of dirty laundry with your underwear on top in the background. Like that's just not like, come on, guys. Like, can we just be a little professional? The irony. I'm not going to say anything, but the irony. Like at least tuck the underwear underneath the laundry pile if you're going to put a laundry pile in. I mean, I don't know. Just maybe don't do that or something. Um, just think about what's behind you when you're taking the picture or right, at least right. like look at it uh, before you post From it. her dungeon. I've seen some crazy. I've been in this industry for a long time. I've seen some crazy things. Okay. Um, so I have to say that. Um, filters. I don't post pictures without a filter. Now, when I say filters, when some people say filters, they're talking about the filters that like literally make you look like another person. I'm not doing that, but I do put light filters on my, and I use the same, my, my brand is similar. It's the same all the time. Choose a filter in Lightroom and put, figure out how to do that and put filters over your pictures. Now, if this is overwhelming you, if that piece is like, <gasps> I don't know how to do that, then don't. It's not that important, but if you can figure that out, it does make a difference. It absolutely does make a difference. Um, and it was really stressful for me at first too, because I don't really like new yes, tech. Anna. Yes, Anna. Which is strange because I build no. tech, but I don't like new tech. I don't like other people's new tech. <laughs> so when someone said to me, you have to go put Lightroom, I was like, I don't understand what a filter is. I don't, yes, Lightroom's an app. Yep. And you can get, you can get filters for it. So it's like, it's really easy once you figure it out. My recommendation, if you want to figure that out is to go watch a couple of YouTube videos on it, on, Sorry, on, Hannah on L. editing. It's, it's super cringe. simple once you figure it out. It takes me two seconds now. Um, even Brandon Hayes can put a filter on his photo. Okay, I've seen him do it. But you don't have to. I mean, I don't think it's always terrible to put a fun little filter on your photo. It's, you know, it's fine. But, but like, I don't know. I find it odd that you have to filter everything. So I'm just here to tell you that if he can put a filter on his photo, you can put a filter on your photo. He can barely get his email on his phone. And like, I'm just telling you. All right. So now let's talk about the, the tougher thing. So the format is easy. You guys can commit to putting captions on your things. You can commit to using the same background. You can commit. You can commit to all that stuff. The format's easy. Here's the hard stuff and the stuff that where you guys get stuck. First of all, I'm going to say the same thing I say on every call. Like, I want to beg you. Please go redo the creating content to build authority training. It is the piece that you guys are missing. 
It just is the piece that you're missing. You've got to learn how to create content that people want to engage in. People. Melissa, that is saying something. If y'all are just now coming in or came in before we went over this, we went over her engagement rate. And it's just weird that she's saying you've got to create content that's engaging when she also does not do that. Ugh, yikes. And I don't, you know, I don't like to use engagement rates like a throw in your face type of thing. But I mean, it 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 goes along with what she's talking about. So I, listen, if you're going to tell people they need to make engaging content, then you should also want to talk about. But first, before you can do that, you've got to figure out what your brand is. I see Colette on here. I'm going to talk about Colette. Um, hi, Colette. Uh, she's in a barn, I think, or something. I don't know. She looks very cold. She's got a hat on. A are barn. you freezing, Colette? What are you doing? You live in Texas. It's cold down there. Um, it has so Colette is an equestrian. She works with horses. I think specifically, I don't know much about it. I know, I think specifically she like, I don't know, like trains stallions or something. Like she's, she's doing crazy stuff down there with big, mean horses that can kill you. Um, anyway, so she's got a business in the equestrian world. Right, Hannah. Thank that you. has nothing to do with like CBD or Moringa, does it? It also doesn't have a lot to do with health and wellness. Health and wellness is not Colette's brand. It's just not. Like her brand is equestrian. She's an equestrian. Horses, um, hard work, um, resilience. That is her brand. And so if you guys go take a look, it's Colette Sossaman. If you, Colette, will you drop maybe your TikTok handle or something in the chat for me? If you guys go take a look at her content, you're going to see a whole lot of stuff about horses. She got in a tractor fight last week, which is really entertaining. There was a tractor controversy. That is how you build authority. Right. And job, I always talk in these calls and I say, you have to have controversy. And people say, oh, I don't know what you mean. Like, I don't want to talk about politics. BJ Puck, that's a great point. There's a difference between content that's engaging and content that can be engaged with. Yeah, that's good. Six. Colette created controversy by saying that uh, a side-by-side -side is better than a tractor and people lost their minds. I don't know why that was important to like farm people, but they, yeah. uh, the men specifically. Yeah. yeah, describe Melissa's brand in one word. That could be a fun game we play. Did not, it was like, she called it like two girls in a Kubota or something. I don't know. But you should definitely check her out. She talks a lot about horses. Now let's talk about how that works. So that's her brand. It's what she knows. If I went and plucked Colette out of her farm and stuck her on a stage and said, Colette, you have to teach us something right now. You have no time to prep and you have 15 minutes. She would absolutely teach us something about horses. She, cause she can, that's her brand. That's what she knows. If someone in Colette's inner circle has a, was coming to her for advice it's highly likely that it would be horse advice right that's who they would go to if they had a question about a horse or if they i guarantee you people message her all the time to ask her questions about I don't <laughs> who you scam that's good <laughs> unhinged messy whack mean wtf <laughs> I, there's so much to be said about it i don't know horse stuff like this horse is doing this thing what should we do or we're having a hard time with this what should we do she has built oh, yeah. authority yeah, okay. in that brand. Yeah. Authority is transferable. Oh, it does our A. Okay. So let me just tell you guys. Charlene, this is so true. Charlene said long-winded. Her posts are essays. Oh, well, yeah. Like, do y'all remember the last live video I did last weekend? A week ago today, and we went over her uh, horrific post that she made a couple years ago. Charlene sent that to me, by the way. Passive aggressive. That's good. Uh, Desiree, this is so weird to think about. Could you imagine Melissa Collins on stage talking to a room full of people? Yeah. Imagine her in front of you talking to a room full of people like she talks to people. Ridiculous. I mean, I could like, I wouldn't stay in that room listening to her talk to me like that. There are full grown adults. This right now. Other than a very, and I mean very select few of you, maybe one or two of you, your brand is not health and wellness. Stop it. Your brand is not, are you a doctor? Are you a chiropractor? What's her no. brand? No, your brand is not health and wellness. It's not. Stop trying. I want to know what Melissa's brand is. What do y'all think is her actual brand? Because she keeps talking about brands, but I don't even think she has a brand.
I don't understand. I'm trying to build it around health and wellness. You are not a health and wellness expert. But every single one of you, and let me help you feel comfortable. Every single one of you already is an authority in something. You are an authority right now in something. There no, you're not. No, you know you're not. Rebecca, thanks for being a member for 12 months, a whole year. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Riley. Thanks, babe. He bought me a Diet Coke. There is something about you that you that you already that if I plucked you out of where you were and I stuck you on a stage, you and I said you have to talk for 15 minutes. There is something you would talk about. Oh, How yeah. I know some of them. Ashley Daniels, I haven't seen you on a call. I could talk about Melissa Collins for 15 minutes. That would be a good time. I'd show clips and everything. Forever. Hey girl. Ashley Daniels would talk about, could talk about um like bodybuilding. I don't know if that's the right word. Is that the right word? Is that the right word? Bodybuilding, like muscle memory. She could talk about, I don't know. I, you go look. Liz said, it's giving, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Good Ashley Daniels pictures. She has a great. Jordan says expert. There. Yeah, Stimmy Spice. She has great assets. And she's worked really hard to build them. And over about, I would say the last two years. Now, I don't follow Ashley super closely. So this is. This is a really good example of authority and branding. I would say it's been about two years. She started on. I, I agree with Stimmy Spice. I want to know what y'all think. She's using the word authority, but you think she means expert? Or do you think she means authority? Or do you think she like is just getting those words confused? Because she does that often, but she like doesn't use the right word a lot. Do y'all think she means authority or expert? I'm curious. On this journey where she had gained a bunch of weight and she wanted, she didn't want to just lose weight. She wanted to become like, I don't know, are you doing bikini model competition? I don't know. She's like half naked, very tan on stages. That's all I know. Um, and she's got muscles everywhere and she's worked really hard at it. And her content surrounds food. I, I, I've seen things about what she's eating. I've seen things about her workouts. I've seen things about, um, it's all about fitness and about uh, staying consistent and about, tenacity. And when I think of Ashley Daniels, that's what I think of now. She built that authority. So Charlene says she may be referring to an authority on the business or topic, which is another way of saying an expert. Okay. I think she means authority equals respect and respect equals influence. Yeah. Yeah. Does there anything she's authority and expert can, can be synonymous? Yeah. She's also giving, though, this side of authority, like this aggressive behavior, too, though. So it's not like I think she's obviously using authority as expert, but also using that word to mean like be more aggressive. Do y'all know what I'm do y'all understand what I'm saying when I say that? I think she likes that side of authority, like because she's an aggressive authority figure. She she is. That's who she is. She's she is an authority figure. She's aggressive. And that's how she thinks it should be done. I don't know. She did not have that authority before she started that. Was it two years ago, Ashley, would you say? Is that about three years, three years ago? So mm -hmm. I would not say that she, that I would have thought of her the way I think of her now, three years ago. She built it. It took time. It was con consistent effort. It was something, it's something she's interested in. She now does own authority in that brand space. That's her brand space. She's built it over time. All of you have that with something in your life, and it doesn't have to be around health and wellness. It can be horses. Oh, I'm making it great can points. Be goats. They're awesome. It can be knitting. It can be um, it can be a uh, cancer survivor. It can be um, recovered addict. It can be. Um... Wait a minute. I don't think I'm liking what she's saying, but I can't process it because I'm reading those comments. Give me one sec. I'm going to go back and listen to that. That's all I know. Um, and she's got muscles everywhere and she's worked really hard at it. And her content surrounds food. I, I, I've seen things about what she's eating. I've seen things about her workouts. I've seen things about um, it's all about fitness and about uh, staying consistent and about tenacity. And when I think of Ashley Daniels, that's what I think of now. She built that authority. She did not have that authority before she started that. Was it two years ago, Ashley, would you say? Is that about three years, three years ago? So I, I would not say that she, that I would have actually know and what you actually have authority in. So um, 
I don't want to pick on some of y'all. I'm just really sorry, but you've been around too long. I, it can be, um, here we go, mom. It can be, you know, it, it there. It can be whatever you are is what it is. She's interested in. She now does own. She's interested. Ever. Here we go. That right. with something in your life, and here it doesn't go. have to be around health and wellness. It can be horses. It can be goats. It can be knitting. It can be. Um, it can be. Uh, cancer survivor. It can be. Mm. Um, mm -mm. recovered addict. It can be. Um, mom. It can be. I don't. I didn't like that. Brands. Your brand is a cancer survivor. Something that I. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works. Her brand word is triggering. Yeah. This is. Brand is recovered addict. I write. Weird. I don't, I, I did not like that gave me the ick instantly. You know, it, it, there, it can be whatever you are is what it is. You are the brand. But some of you are so afraid to lean in to to what you actually know and what you actually have authority in. So um adding identity. I want to pick on some of y'all. I'm just really sorry, but you've been around too long. I just know you too well. Oh my gosh. So Joanne. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's literally calling out people. Could you imagine being in that live right now? <sighs> Joanne, I'm so sorry. But I'm also not that sorry because you are choosing to follow Melissa. Hannah said, I'm so tired of everyone saying you need a personal brand. We aren't corporations, we're humans. Oh, good point. Chloe said, I log off so fast. I wonder how the numbers dropped. Oh, she's calling people out by name now. Oh, I don't like it. Vera, oh. pretty sure she's on here. I'm just going to tell you, Joanne, your authority is in the dog world. And you just don't um, talk about it enough. You should go look at what Colette's done with equestrian stuff. That's what you should be doing with dogs. And that is absolutely what you have authority in. Look, guys, when you teach somebody. What do you think Melissa thinks I have authority in? Being a hater? I changed something on my YouTube. <laughs> when you click on my profile. Oh, this would be funny. When you click on my profile and you're like, view your channel or whatever. view it, And it goes to Julie Jo. I put the hater boss babes and scammers talk about. I thought that was funny. <laughs> okay, whatever. It might not be funny. Let's go. Let's watch. Something. You instantly build authority with them. You instantly build authority with them. And 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 they will believe you about other stuff. Does that make sense? Steamship TV. There is someone that's in someone. your life, in your that's so nice, Steamship TV. You don't that's really nice. Or network. Professional hater. So mm -hmm. let's say tomorrow uh you got um a yeast infection and you want to treat it naturally. There is someone in your network, probably what that you would the first person you would think of and say, maybe this person knows. Is there someone? Why are we? It's gotta be. Why are we talking um, about this? When you, yeah, yep, she's a great one. What? So, so what? Lexi, yeah, Alexis Ewan, yep. Melissa. Yep. There's other things too. Like when you think about when you ask, you ask people for advice, the reason you're choosing those people is because they have authority DJ. in that area. <laughs> no one is calling me and asking how to geld a stallion. I'm not, first of all, or not. first of all, I'm not answering that question. It's inappropriate. <laughs> Secondly, I think you use a rubber band. I don't really know what you also, I don't mean yuck towards yeast infections because people get them, but I mean yuck as in, why are we talking about them right now? I don't, I can't, I don't follow her. I don't track with her very well. I do, but I'm going to say you got to call Colette because <laughs> I, but no one's asking me that. Why would anyone ask me that? I have no authority in that area. I also, for just for public knowledge, I am not, um, I am not like, super other people invest my money i hire smart people to do things with my money so i don't have to know it but i almost every day someone reaches out to me to ask about stocks and investments and things like that because i have a really strong authority and a brand around money 
That's because I no. built authority in there. No, simply your brand is mean. Like your brand is, ugh. Her, no, your brand is not around money. Ridiculous. Your brand is just being an, a complete and utter jerk to people. And you take pride in it. So guys, to be clear, your brand is not building an MLM business. Unless you have built a multi-million dollar MLM business, that's not your brand. Your brand is also not health and wellness. You've got to figure out your brand first so that you can go build authority. Mm -hmm. The mind map you training, know, yeah. if you have not done the mind map training and actually written out a mind map, mind map. you need to go do it. Is that? that creating content series is the most important training you can do. I can't say it enough. And you need to do it over and over again, and you need to get it on paper. You need to really, that's really where the work is, guys. So you've got to figure out what your bigger idea is and then do this mind map. That will help you create content. It doesn't help you not to create long form content. Anyone know what mind map training is? Hey, Lexi, welcome. But actually, some of my favorite content is the short form one. Did you guys see? I did a, I wrote a post the other day that said last time, Last time a cup got this much attention, there was two girls involved. Do y'all see that? Wow. Great job. What a good post. Incredible. What a great influencer. She's doing so well. Melissa, that's a... Mind map is just brainstorming? Ah, oh, chill. Okay, cool. Brainstorm technique. Gotcha. Did y'all just hear what she said? <laughs> oh, I did read that one. As I don't care what anyone says, that's hilarious. It may anything that makes me laugh for more than thirty <laughs> seconds. I'm like, I have to post that. But that came from my mind map because everybody that came from my mind map. Do you really think about two girls, one cup that often? Like, why did that? <laughs> oh no! Why did that come from your mind map, Melissa? <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Oh, that just gave me the ick so bad. Like, I don't think about two girls, one cup. It wouldn't be in my mind map. <laughs> oh, Riley. <laughs> she is, I'm literally in tears. You're going to go? All right. Love you. Drive safe. Beauty's cool drop out. You are in the 1% of haters. Oh my gosh, what an honor. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you so much and um, for your super chat. And I greatly appreciate it. It's very um, generous. Always. Thanks. Oh, God. She didn't. Did she? Oh, she did. Y'all want to see the post? Let's look at the post where she talks about two girls, one cup. Hold on. Let me. Sorry. Let me get to it. Y'all want to see? Okay. Let me, let me go find it. Where she talks about. She, I did read that post. It's funny, but not in a funny way. I, it's super, like, I giggle because it's so awkward. Where is it? I wonder where it is. Where is it? Oh, she loves to trigger people. Oh, it's her favorite thing. It's so weird. I think she thoroughly enjoys triggering people. Where is that? Um, where is your... Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't care about any of this, Melissa. Where's your, where's your funny post? <sighs> mm. I did see it, but I can't find it now. Uh, whatever. Oh, <laughs> I found it here. I'll screenshot it and... 
I'll show y'all her post. Shock marketing. Oh, yeah. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Your computer. Watch. I'm going to have to freaking make it a. Oh. Quick action. Create PDF. Okay. There we go. This. This was her post. Hold on. Um, let's go this way. Last time a cup got this much attention, there were two girls involved. And someone put in a GIF, I'm going to throw up. Which I think is valid because same. Talking, that's in the news, right? Stanley Cups are in the news right now. It's what everybody's talking about. It's a little controversial. It's entertaining. And people wanted to comment. That is an engaging post that builds authority. Now, how does it build authority? Well, it shows that I'm paying attention to the world around me. There's all these other people who are like, what's a Stanley Cup? I don't even know what people are talking about. Well, that DC said, can someone explain the two cup reference? The answer is no. No, we can't. Because if I did, this YouTube video would get taken down. And honestly, you should go the rest of your life not knowing about that. I promise it's not worth it. I promise. That does not build authority. I mean, so, so you don't know what's going on in, in any current events. Got it. Um, yeah. I mean, so, so here's the thing, guys. Pulling from that mind map Don't and Google. creating those short form engaging posts. Don't Google where it. Where people just can't stand it. So here's no. one for Colette. Because I, I mean, I, you don't need to post this, Colette. But she, she did it the other day with a reel. She could say, two girls in a Kubota beat one man in a tractor any day. If she posts that, her network will, I won't respond to that because I don't, before the real, the whole thing, the whole thing went down and I follow Colette because she's in, in this business, right? But before that went down, I wouldn't have known what Kubota meant, okay? Because I'm not her people. I would have scrolled right by that on Facebook and that's okay. Her people know exactly what she. I did not think we would be talking about that today. The two girls, one cup thing. I did not anticipate this conversation, but if you're wondering what it is, don't. It's just not worth it. Don't look it up means and they will respond and the people in your network in your brand space will know exactly what you're talking about when you get it right and they have you ever seen a post where you just are not scrolling by you just got something to say you're saying something i'm gonna say something not on my have to. <laughs> that is what we're trying to create engage silas and melissa is such an edgelord it's just such an edgelord she loves being edgy Engaging content that builds authority in your brand Okay. Yeah. So use the mind map and you pull a couple things off of each spoke and you need to keep testing these posts until you start to build actual authority. No one's going to opt in. So the other thing I want to tell you is, so as you're doing those posts, we have five posts that you need to do every day. I know y'all don't like that. Everyone's like, oh no, Melissa, my last leader said only post two times a day. Well, call your last leader up and ask her how many people she enrolled on autopilot every single month. Call her up. Get her on the phone with me. Because she didn't do 30 to 50. I promise you. I guarantee you. So entertain, educate, motivate, inspire, and call to action. Every single, I don't miss my call to action because that's how people join my list. Like I'm going to talk about it. Call to action, guys, is not, here's my interest form. Please join it. I saw some of those yesterday, like just a, literally just the link. Like, what do you do? Who's your, what? You've got to slow down and think about it. Okay. Little, little palate cleanser. MLM no says my mini poodle thinks he can hide his bone inside a pillow and it's getting frustrated. He can't dig it out. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, Parvin, I use my personal Facebook page and I would, Highly recommend you doing that. I would definitely go do the social media setup in the app. That'll teach you that. Um, another Facebook page will not work. You're not going to create a personal brand there. And Facebook pages like business pages definitely do not work anymore unless you want to put ad spend behind it. And I mean, three to $5,000 a month, you should not open a Facebook page. Okay. It, it, this should happen on your personal Facebook page. This is if you want to grow organically. People want to follow people. Um, so sure, DC, you've got to start selling solutions. So let's talk about if we were selling, um, okay, 
let's talk about this. We're going to sell a trip to Maui. We're selling the trip to Maui. Okay. And the way I would sell a trip to Maui is I would talk about the beautiful sunset that you're going to see in the mornings from your, from your balcony. And I would talk about the, the white sand beaches you're going to walk on. And I would talk about the amazing foods you're going to eat. And I would talk about the incredible shows you're going to see and the people you're going to experience. I'm going to talk about the end result. I am not going to be like, okay, so first you're going to get to the airport and we're going to make it super easy because I'm already going to have printed out your boarding pass and I'm going to mail that to you 16 days before. And so you'll have that. And then you're going to be in seat 16 D and then uh, the flight is going to be 12 hours. That's going to suck a little bit. You might want to get some of those compression. So Does anybody want to buy this trip to Maui? Like, no, that's what some of you guys sound like though. You've got to sell the solution. Very few people. And I do mean very few people care how many milligrams of ashwagandha are in your product and what specifically ashwagandha does to the vagus nerve, da, 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 whatever science thing you said. You're just not appealing. People want to know that it makes them feel better. People don't want to feel like a bag of garbage at two in the afternoon. People don't want to feel like they have to take a nap every day at three o'clock. Her, her, like, her comparisons to stuff, her, um, whatever they're called, I can't even think about it right now. They're so weird. Like, they're not great examples or, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <sighs> My brain's tired. But they're just not, I don't know. They just don't hit like I think they should. People don't want to feel inflamed. They don't want their hips to hurt. They don't want their ankles to hurt anymore. They don't want their joints to hurt. They want to feel energy. They want to feel healthy. They want to feel metaphors. Thank you. Total false equivalence. Yeah, absolutely. They're all pretty much any metaphor she uses are normally pretty much false equivalences. I feel like their kids are getting the nutrition and it's easy. Like have you tried Allergies. to feed a kid broccoli lately? Because I have. It's not easy. Morbida is a lot easier. So you should probably, I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to keep going. But we're not talking about the solutions, the actual solution. Bye, Soph. Um, sorry, my dog's leaving. The dog, dog is leaving. Um, so when you are doing a call to action post, you've got to share the solution. And you guys, you've got to be honest. And I'm going to say this. I don't care what you do. I don't care. You can, you guys can have every bit of my content. You can, I mean, I gave you a whole content bag. That's all my content. You can have every single written word I've ever written. You can plagiarize it. I don't care, but it won't do anything for you. Copy pasting my post, my call to action post is never going to work because you're not Melissa Collins. Thank God for that. You have to talk like you. I can talk like me because I have the credentials. I've walked it. I've done it. I've done. There's some things I can say that won't resonate with your network. My network is very used to me talking about money, MLM, all of that stuff. They know what I'm talking about. When you guys are copy pasting my call to action posts and my other posts, it, the reason it doesn't work is because you're just, you're not me. And if I copy pasted your stuff, it would, it would not hit either because I'm not you. I cannot go. Let's talk about Colette again. She has some. Just call me. Oh, I just muted her. Hold on. Uh, just call me. Joe said, show me your credentials, Melissa. And you know what? I agree. I've been asking for them. She says all this stuff, but she never shows it really, especially with her app and how amazing it is. Kubota thing. And no one in my network is going to react. They're going to be like, what is she talking about? We don't, we don't do tractors. They wouldn't know. It would just wouldn't, it wouldn't resonate with them because I'm not Colette. I'm not an equestrian. It would not even make sense. So you've got to stop copy pasting other people's content. You just have to, you've got to create your own content. And when you're doing call to actions, especially for the business, you got to be honest. You guys, the truth is enough. We've got to stop with this mentality. You've got to stop convincing yourself that, well, once I, I, I can't really talk about the business because I don't make enough money. Pause. Julie. A member for three months. Thank you so, 30, three. What happened to me? Julie has been a member for three months. Thank you so much. 
that is, you might've been my first member ever, actually. Three, 30 months? I think you were. Or one of the very, very first ones. Well, thank you. And I'm so glad that you're still here. I don't care if you made $75. That is enough. The truth is enough to be honest about it. Really? They made commission $75. How much did they spend to purchase the products, Melissa? You, oh, I know I'm going to fight this battle the rest of my life that I talk about anti-MLM. I know it. We're going to fight this battle of profit always because, oh, but she made a $200 commission. Did she profit? But she spent $300 in products? That's negative 100. She's in the hole $100. Nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think I'm being invaded by children. Hey guys, what you doing? No, we're not going outside. Go back upstairs. He'll be back in a second. Um, Tattooed on my face. Profit, so, not revenue. <laughs> so um, where was I? Um, well, while you're thinking about it, Melissa, Elaine, member for 16 months. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. That's over a year. That's wild. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. Um, Melissa can't handle the truth. No, she can't. But but a lot of them can't. And a lot of them will do just about anything to navigate around it to change the narrative of what the truth is. We saw that with BA Boss Babe in a recent video. Completely lost where I was. They are the cutest, aren't they, Holly? Um, yeah, when you don't, yeah, if you, if you, talking about how much money we don't make, the truth is enough. Thank you, thank you for reminding me of that. I want you to talk about the truth because there is someone else out there who wishes she made $75 this week. <clears throat> and, and when we're pretending that we're not, that we're making more than we are, people, like, they know you're lying. They know it's disingenuous. They know it's not true. And it's not helpful. It's not helpful to them. Guys, If I, I, I used to post my paychecks a long time ago. I stopped because it's just completely unrelatable. Like, I know that you think it's an advantage. It's a total dis Can y'all believe she actually said that? Talk about how much money we don't make. I love it. I love it. Advantage. It's completely unrelatable. So, so where you guys are, where most of you are is very relatable. It's what people need right now. Be honest about it. Talk about what, talk about what, um, also you're not allowed to post your paycheck. It's not compliant, but talk about what bill you paid. Talk about the fact. But she kind of did in 2022. Um, she posted this like volume report with total orders and it has the number like in money form. So it's not compliant, but you don't care. That this is the first month that you didn't panic when you opened your electric bill. Talk about the fact that you don't have a car payment anymore. I don't have a car payment anymore. Okay, I didn't pay off my car. Calm down, everybody. I'm not that, I'm not there yet, but my lab check is covering my car payment every month and I'm pretty excited about that. See how that's a real short post? But you're, you're deceiving people who read it because you still have a car payment. Like you initially saying that you still have a car payment and it's a story and it's relatable and it makes sense. That's what we, that's what we need to do. That's how you need to do it. And the other part is just going back to format. I'm just going to touch on this about the friction that people are creating in their content for consuming it. I put my link in my post and I don't want to hear people saying, Oh, it buries the post. Well, okay but I don't have a problem getting people to click on the form and, and get on it. I think that is an urban legend. I don't agree with it. I just don't. I'm sorry. I think that maybe it does, but the friction of them having to go into your comments and find it is far worse than, than you having to work to push it up in the algorithm. I put it in the, in, in the body of all of my posts against every social media mentors advice i don't care what they say they're wrong yeah darren does too and he she truly thinks this is what i've noticed after the several videos that we've watched of her 
and like, you know, just looking at her Facebook and like going through some stuff, she truly believes, and this is my opinion, but this is what I think about it. She thinks she is uh, some kind of business god. Like she believes that she is some super, like a genius when it comes to MLM, business, all of this. She believes that she is superior. I think she truly believes that. But what's so interesting to me is that a lot of times people are able to believe that about themselves because they're actually so ignorant. She is ignorant in so many things. She's ignorant in such a capacity that they, she truly, genuinely thinks she is a genius when it comes to business. And for some reason, that just hit me. I don't know. Maybe you disagree. Maybe she's an icon, y'all. But yeah, she lives in her delusion. I, I, I just don't see it any other way. I don't know. What are y'all's thoughts? I would love to hear. But that's just, well, that's what I've noticed as we've been watching her for like a few months. He's gotten no less than, I think he said, no less than two people on his form every single day since he started when we launched. Dunning-Kruger? So, also... Um, I would not, I would strongly suggest not using link trees, not using other websites, not using these, the roundabout things, just use the link to the forum. Don't make people go look for it. You're just creating friction in the process. Mm -hmm. You think it's not a big deal because you built that link tree and they can just click on interest form in there. They're not going to, they're going to get confused. They're going to get lost. I'm just telling you, it's a layer of friction. Make it as easy as painfully possible. And don't get mad when they come in the comments and say, can I have some info on this? So people are talking about the Dunning-Kruger effect. And the Dunning-Kruger effect occurs when a person's lack of knowledge and skill in a certain area causes them to overestimate their own competence. I think y'all are right. I think that makes sense. Excuse me. Absolutely. And you're like, I literally posted the link to the form in the post. <laughs> Don't get mad. Just reply to the comment and say, sure, the link is right here. This is how you get info. Just fill it out. Because believe it or not, some people did, like didn't read it. Their, their brain skipped over it. Oh, you know what? Where's Janet? Janet, I think her last name was pronounced Blennis. I've known Janet. It's got to be. That's a long time. Three years? Two years? Hey, Eloise. I'm telling you right now. Last week is the first time I figured out she doesn't have a V in her name. I thought her name was Janet Blevins. So much so that a few weeks ago, I yelled at Ashley South for spelling her name wrong on something. Because Ashley made something. I don't remember what it was. And I said, Janet's name is spelled wrong. And she's like, no, it's not. I'm just telling you that because once, so people just, our brains, that's how our brain works. And I'm going to laugh every time I see her come on a Zoom because every time I'm like, dang, I don't even know how. I really thought she had a V in her name forever. I, you guys. Something about Melissa I've noticed before, and I'm sure we've all noticed it, is that it's okay for her, but not for others, right? Like, it's okay if she does it. It's okay if she messes up. But others can't because then they're wrong. And in her words, stupid. Huh. You guys may not realize this, but I talk about every single one of you. And I'm just, I've been for three three days since I figured this out, I've been telling Brandon, I'm like, I've been saying Janet Blevins. And he's like, yeah, and I know exactly who you're talking about. I thought she had a V too, because I say it and he's convinced of it. Like this spread, like like some kind of V cancer. <laughs> I'm telling everybody she's going to be in her name. But it's, that's how our brains work. So like, we can't figure out why they couldn't just click the link and then do this because Sometimes we just literally don't see stuff. We know that. What's the point, Hannah P? No one cares. Monica, get past it already. Wait, I mean, someone mentioned, she said this earlier. What What are we doing, Melissa? I'm sitting here drinking my Diet Coke, wondering when you're going to get done with this rant that you're going on that isn't helpful and makes no sense to me. Sometimes we just literally don't see stuff. Um, so anyway, Christine is saying, it was, it was misspelled somewhere. And that's why. I don't know why. 
why did she throw cancer around so like so um irresponsibly like she just uses that word like it's no big deal like uh what she said about having she said hannah p said it, it spread like some kind of v cancer yes yeah, so nonchalant that's a great way to put it i'm so i'm sorry i'm so tired no it's just nonchalantly i'm like mm, bad bad taste in bad taste but she's gonna forever be Janet yeah, Blevins to me. Like, I don't know, Janet, how you feel about changing your name like legally or whatever, but I feel like we should do that. <laughs> it's really bothering me so much. Mm -hmm. uh, Julio said chewy ice or regular ice, inquiring minds. It depends. Do I want to choose some ice? Or do I want to like let the ice melt in my mouth? You know, just kind of let it let it hang out. I do both. Oh anyway. Um where are we at? So authority, not being an expert, being an authority. Okay. There's a big, not being an expert, being authority. Okay. So now we're not being an expert. We're being an authority. Hmm. She's about to say there's a big difference. Let's, let's listen in. Big difference. An authority is someone who talks, who, who, you know, you're, you, you're comfortable talking about stuff. You're comfortable. Um, you're, you, you do not need to be an expert in any area to be an authority in it dunning kruger effect what we just talked about earlier uh that several of you brought up that checks out <laughs> what was that melissa <laughs> yikes when ashley daniels decided to go on her health journey and she decided to go become some absolutely lean muscle driven bikini woman she was not an expert at the beginning she became an authority really quickly you can become an authority in something very quickly but just stop trying to make it health and wellness guys no it's just it's just disingenuous it's just not some of y'all i know because i am too some of y'all out here eating doritos and onion dip and talking about being a health and wellness expert and we're just not I'm sorry. <laughs> so a health and wellness expert, which one, if you're in an MLM, you're not a health and wellness expert. Let's just get that out of the way. All right. Two, you're telling me that because I eat Doritos and onion dip, that I can't be a health and wellness expert. So you want me to just not enjoy life? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh God. Oh God. She makes me. Oh, she makes my head hurt by how much I have to tr try to track with her brain, like the processes of her brain. I'm just like, I don't think that I don't think that I can track with that. Speaking of, I really want chips and dip. I'm going to ask my husband to get me some. Can we just be honest about who we are? Like, don't even come on now. I know there's someone else out here who eats Doritos with onion dip and makes posts on Facebook. I'm not the only one. I'm just telling you, but I, you know, but I do know that I should not eat the Doritos. That's what makes me an authority. Yeah, now she's food shaming. It's giving autumn calories, right? Do you see? <laughs> it's funny. You can eat whatever you want, health expert or not. Yeah. I mean, here's my belief in that. Food is neither good nor bad. You, What you do with it is what makes it good or bad, right? Like food itself is like, there's, it's not morally correct or, or incorrect, right? That isn't. I don't think of food as like, it's good, it's bad. I think that, I mean, if I eat three bags of Doritos, it's not great, but that's my action that's not great, not like the food. Okay. An expert would not eat them. Authority <laughs> just knows she shouldn't. Like, I'm like, I know that this stuff that I'm licking off this Dorito is toxic, but at least I know it's toxic. Morally <laughs> neutral. There we go. Anyway. Um, so your brand is not health and wellness. You got to figure out what your real brand is and lean into it. Be authentic and real. People love that. You know why? Because there's very little real out here anymore. There's just so much plastic. Aww, Jules, thank you for sharing with us. Jules said, I'm in a craving for anorexia and my doctors agree with you, Julie Joe. All food is good. There's no moral content to food. Well, thank you for sharing that. I, I appreciate you sharing your experience and I'm glad that you're in recovery. Ugh. People want to relate to you because the reality is 
we're all just kind of sitting home with our messy bun on our head and dog hair on our pants eating the Doritos. Like, we're every. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I did do my hair. Well, I I washed and blow dried my hair today, but like the dog hair, the dirt. Yeah, those are those are right. Everybody, but and then we're posting a beautiful edited photo. You know that one time that we put makeup on a month ago. Like, you're not the only one. And so when you're real and you're authentic, man, it hits. It hits really hard. Fritos and cottage cheese. Okay, but cottage cheese as a dip is good. Don't, don't. I know some of y'all are going to disagree. And you know what? You should. Because I'm a weirdo and I love cottage cheese. Oh, man. Now I got to try. That's a whole new, it's going to be a whole new problem. Oh, man, kitty. You're fired. All right. Um, <laughs> what is that? Actually, Daniel said I'd do it. <laughs> I know you would. Look, I know she likes to eat because I've been around her for days in a row. She stayed at my house for a for a back. My gosh, Ashley, was that four years ago? Riley's getting me chips and dip. I call them chippies. It's probably annoying. I'm getting chips and dip and I'm gonna eat them with my husband while watching a movie later. So excited. Anyway, that doesn't that doesn't matter <laughs> to this video. Let's keep watching. That we were at a, a event at my house. Yeah, it was like in New Hampshire. It was like four years ago. We were eating all the things. So she can definitely tell you I am not an expert at health and wellness. But I am a good cook. <laughs> so there's that. Don't yuck my yum, everybody. <laughs> I I heard that recently and I was like, that is funny. Don't yuck my yum. And I won't yuck your yum. I like that. Oh, man. Now everybody's putting all the snacks in the comments. Look what happened here. Thanks. Um. All right, so what's your brand? Creating engaging content, use the mind map, telling stories instead of selling. Um, but at the end of the day, here's what I want you to ask yourself. I want you to go back after this call and I want you to scroll through your content and I want you to ask yourself from a consumer, from someone who's consuming your content, I want you to ask yourself, what's in it for me? What's in it for them? Because the biggest mistake that most people are making in their content I'm is this is what it sounds like. Me, 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 me. Okay, I'm really tired of hearing her voice. So I just wanted to pause for a second. Can y'all tell me your favorite snack? Like everyone watching, I want to know your favorite snack because I need snack ideas. I need snack ideas. Okay. Buy my stuff. Me, 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 me. Buy my stuff. There's nothing wrong with sharing about yourself. But what are you offering for value? What are you giving to people? How are you serving? How are you helping people within your brand uh, space? I would love to know that for you, Melissa, too. How in the heck are you helping and giving people value? You're just shitting all over people all the time. How is that giving them value? I had to let that one out. I had to let that one go, you know? Couldn't hold that one in. What can you offer that would add, would add value to those people's lives. Go back to Colette. Colette talks about horse stuff. I don't know. I, she was, I saw a thing the other day where you did this, Colette. There was something about a horse shaking his head or something. It was like... Taylor said frozen ego Pop-Tarts. Good for you. No yuck in your yum here. It was like, I've never seen this before. And she was explaining like, I don't know. I'm not, it was very um, in depth about why the horse was shaking his head and how they helped him. That was adding value. It didn't add value to my life because I don't have a horse and I don't know. I, I don't know what I, I would just call Colette is what I would do. Um, but, but it definitely was a value add post for the people in her brand space. Can you guys drop a yes? If this is making sense. If that Is it just me or does her volume keep going up and down? Like it, it, it gets, it's like forte. You know, like it gets forte and then goes back. That makes sense to you. What are you going to add to your content that's going to add value to people's lives? How are you going to become someone? Do you guys have people in your life who, you know, the search bar and there's like eight people that you search all the time? Are There are people who you go directly to their page, right? And you'll see what they said. 
Like, wonder what this person said today. Are there people that you have in your life like that? That's what you're trying to become. That's what you're trying to become. Okay. And so what is on your Facebook newsfeed that people would care enough about to make them come talk to you? Is there something entertaining? Is it making, do you have something that's making people laugh? And maybe you're like, well, I don't think I'm funny. I think I'm actually rather boring. Okay, cool. The good news is there's tons of content out there. Go find a funny video that went viral. A few weeks ago, I was not feeling very contenty. And I was also, my followers, my new followers were way down. I was frustrated. So I went and found a viral video that made me cry. That one of the Chevrolet, did you guys see the Chevrolet ad and the Alzheimer's thing on my page? Oh, I was like, so I'm crying. And I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to post this. <laughs> but back to format. I did not share it. That's the other thing, guys. Write this down, please. Stop sharing other people's content. Stop it. Stop hitting the share button where they have that little box around. Stop doing it. Don't. It's against the law. It's illegal. Pretend it's illegal. The police will come. You will get arrested and shot. <laughs> Melissa. Hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm trying to control my emotions currently. People do get shot, Melissa. They do. Hee hee ha ha all you want. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. That's strong enough? Stop doing it. All you're doing when you do that, that's what you want people to do to your content. All you're doing when you do that is building someone else's network. You're doing nothing for yourself. You share a viral video and people click on it. They think it's hilarious and they want to share it. They're going to share it from that other person's profile. So just steal their content and put it on your own. That's what she's saying. Instead of sharing the content they did and posted, just steal it and put it on your own. Put it on yours. Yeah, and Chloe. You're getting nothing for your effort. That whole part about sharing into groups, the reason you're doing that is so that your content goes and gets shared because most consumers will just share it. They won't copy paste it, they'll just share it. That thing about the two girls, the, the cup with the two girls thing got shared like 60 times. So let's say on average, people have a thousand friends on Facebook. 60,000 people saw. What's drinking, JJ? Diet Coke. All my name that I never had a chance to to have seen my name before. I gained like 120 followers. Thanks. Great. Th that this is why it's important. It's why it matters. Now, why does it matter that all five posts are there? They don't have to be in posts. It can be an entertain reel. Then it can be a motivate you know post, and then it can be a, a inspire story. Guys, it can be different formats, but you need to get all five in because. Don't even tell me that you guys do not. She is just horribly disgusting. Like, if this is her, sometimes I think she's holding back in these videos. Could you imagine what she says when she's not posting these kind of videos? Could you imagine what she says offline? And I get that everyone is a little different. Like, you know, people hold back online sometimes, definitely, but, but. She says such horrible things online. I can't imagine the shit she says offline. Stalk people. I don't just don't. Just, I know you eat Doritos. I know you right. do. And I know you stalk people. Okay. We all do. So you see someone interesting on social media and you're like, who is this? Natasha. And you go and you click on their name and you scroll. We know this. There's millions of dollars of studies done on this. Oh, you really? Scroll their last five posts. And if they do not catch your attention in those three to five posts, you're not hitting the follow button. You're not hitting it. So that is why all these, these mega leaders who want to say only post one to two times a day, that's fine because you know why? They're also training their teams to reach out to 25 to 50 people a day. So if you want to go do that, you don't have to post those five posts. And you know what? I'd still... I'd still be a part of their downline before yours because at least they don't do what you're doing currently. 
I mean, sure, some of them are terrible, horrible, rude, and mean, but they're still not as bad as you, Melissa. It's cool. But like, enjoy your 50 reach outs. You're going to get 45 people punching you in the face. Like, not fun. No, it's not fun because honestly, it feels like you verbally punch people in the face every other sentence. You don't want to do it. I'm just telling you. Um, so entertain, make people laugh or make them cry. If what you're doing is not going to make them laugh or make them cry and it's your entertain post, it's not strong enough. That, um, that Alzheimer's video thing got, um, 3000 shares, 3000 shares. I'm still getting followers you from stole it. stole someone's content. That's fantastic. How do you share a video without using their link? Cindy, you go into the content creation in the app and you learn how to use the friendly app. But that's all that training is in your app. It's the friendly app. Um, you want to you want to rip videos. You do not want to share videos. Did you hear what she just said? Did you listen? Listen to that. At uh, um, three thousand shares. Wait for it. Three thousand shares. I'm still getting followers from it. That's fantastic. Listen to it. How do you share a video without using their link, Cindy? You go into the content creation in the app and you learn how to use the friendly app. Listen her, to her words. But that's all that training is in your app. This, this is the friendly app. What? Um, you want to you want to rip videos. You do not want to share videos. You want to rip you want to rip videos, which means rip people off, which means steal their content. Quiet part out loud. I. I. I can't imagine if she's totally fine with that. What else she's totally fine with? Okay, it needs to become your content. Oh, not only are you going to rip it, you have to make it your own content. It's yours now. It's not theirs anymore. Which I guess is kind of like the same thing as stealing, but but like it needs to become yours. Educate. Educate within your brand. Colette should be educating about horses. Colette don't need me out here educating about organizing. Um... Isn't that theft? Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah. Um, Charlene, this is a great reminder to everyone. This is actually part of her training. This is a training video. This isn't just like a Facebook Live. This is something she posted on Vimeo as a training. Content to cash is what it's called. This is a training video. That she's training people with. And I know I said that over and over, but imagine training people to legitimately rip off content. My goodness. Arts and crafts closets. No, it's a no, no, Colette, no arts and crafts closets. It makes no sense. No one is engaging with you. But she should be educating about her brand space, which is which is um equestrian. They, that, because when you teach someone something, you build authority with them. So maybe she educates, she does a little short Knowing? educate post on uh, colic or in, in horses or something, and it helps someone. And then they use her advice and they go, they go help their horse. I promise you the next time Colette posts about something with that, that matters to them, like better energy or whatever, they're going to believe her at a higher level because she taught them something, something that mattered to them. Okay. Motivate guys. These can be memes really, but stop using memes with other people's websites in them. Like just stop it. Use a color block and retype it. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. You guys, that's lazy. The non-captions, it's laziness. It is. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm just calling you out. It is laziness. And you're wanting to make like... But you genuinely told us that you love being lazy. Like you love not having to do stuff. And that's why you made this incredibly amazing app that does everything for you. So odd. Odd that you're saying this now. A millionaire paychecks with lazy content it's never it's never going to happen lazy content but you you are genuinely asking people to steal content and you do it yourself lazy content don't be lazy but steal other people's content <laughs> oh. 
excuse me, Elaine, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. That's so kind. That's really, really sweet. If you got a gifted sub from Elaine, raise your hand. Thank you so much, Elaine. I really appreciate that. That's very generous of you. The contradiction is painful, right, Hannah? Right. Yes, it is painful. And it's just so icky. It's never going to happen. If you're telling me that you don't have enough time to type one sentence instead of copy pasting a meme, I don't, you got to call 911. You are having an emergency life. Something's wrong. I mean, come on. Just type it out into a color block. So it's yours. Or if you want to make your own memes, then make your own memes. But stop posting other people's other people's websites. That's craziness. You like at the bottom of these memes, there's like words down there. They mean something. It's someone else's brand. It's not you. It's not your brand. Pat is saying, what's better to have new followers and new friends? I don't know that it matters. Um, but if someone sends you a, I don't accept friend requests. Um, <clears throat> I have too many anyway. So I, but, but even if I didn't, I wouldn't accept friend requests. I don't accept them anymore. Um, because all of anyone who sends you a friend request automatically becomes a follower. Do you guys know that? So if someone sends you a friend request, you don't have to go make a decision. We don't need to have like a, you know, like a council on whether this is an Arabian prince or he's just a normal guy. You can just leave him as a follower. Right. We don't you don't need to go figure those out. You can just leave them there. So. All right. Um, motivate. Inspire. And again, within your brand space, it can't just be a bunch of fluffy. Duffy like words, it has to feel like it's within your brand space. Again, Colette's people do not need an inspirational message about cleaning out art closets. They just don't. <laughs> they just don't. But 100%, there is inf inspirational and motivational stuff within that equestrian brand space that makes sense. I, 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 that doesn't make sense in everybody else's brand space. Again, this is why we can't copy paste off of each other. Um, Melissa, I personally only... I would say post. If you want my honest answer, I'm going to tell you they should be posts because of what I told you earlier. When someone comes to look at you to determine if they want to follow you, they're going to scroll through your last five posts. So, yeah, that's what I would do. And then call to action. Your call to action post is where you're posting your link. Now, I um, pretty much only do product stories. I do them every now and then on my wall but I pretty much only do product stuff in my stories. I get most of my customers from my stories um, and I use, I'll do a series of stories, but listen, I see you guys doing this too. You, you have this dream in your head that you are a, a Hollywood movie producer and you're producing this train of stories that everyone's just going to watch all the way through, right? Because you're like an award-winning movie producer or something. I don't know why you're doing it. But you have six stories and you think they're going to get to the end. So you only put the link on the sixth story. I got news. Go look at the views. It's not how it works. People are dropping off every story. That's how that's how it actually works. That <laughs> link to buy should be on every single story. Don't create friction. Don't make me go through six stories to get it. Make sure the link is clickable. You're starting an Instagram and you're pushing it over. If you don't know how to do that, Jay Keeble made us a great video. It's in the app under Frequently Asked Questions. You can also go to Google or YouTube and teach you how to do that, but learn how to do it. Do not make people get through the story. And if you are trying to make people get through it because it's important to you that they see it, you better dang well say it in the story. Click to the next screen. Follow this story all the way through. It's however many. You have to guide people. You have to lead people and tell them what to do. That's why in the launch post, the first line we always, I insist on is that it says, stop and read this. It would mean a lot to me if you would read this post all the way through. You have no idea how powerful and effective that is. Very, very powerful and effective. Um, but the link, the interest form link should be on every single story. If that's what you're doing, if you're wanting them to get, if you're wanting them to get into it, don't make them wait. Don't, it's not like a big lead up. This is not, we're not, we're not like, we're not like, we're not like producing a drama or a dramedy something. It just needs to go into each story. Stop creating friction. When you're creating content, when you're creating content and you're wanting someone to take action, you have to slow down for a minute and ask yourself, 
Is this the easiest possible way they can get this? Is there anything, any other way I could make this easier? Natalie said, I was so amazed at how much engagement I had with my launch post. Like people that have not commented on anything of mine came out of the woodwork. Yeah, that launch post is fire, man. And 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 guys, if you just did your launch post, I would strongly suggest going back and using the suggested messages. And so I, don't, I don't suggest that every day. I don't tell you to send messages out every day. But that launch post is straight fire. And I would go back and I would talk to those people who raised their hand, said good luck to you. And I would use the suggested reach outs. So I would strongly suggest that. And remember, it doesn't matter how long, like Ashley's been here for, I don't know, 62 years, uh, but she she went away for a while. She did some other things, like she got like all sexy and stuff, and now she's back, but you can do another launch post. I want to tell you something, Ashley, I'm speaking directly to you. Nobody remembers. So you got to get, you just, I don't know if you're having, a, if you have a hang up about that, but most people do. Nobody remembers. Like if you have this moment, like, well, I did it before and then I stopped and I need to like explain myself. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just don't. Nobody remembers. I, guys, has anybody noticed how redundant I am? Like, have you, I say the same thing every single, I've said the same thing every single day for four years. I'm so sick of myself. I don't know why y'all aren't sick of me. I'm so sick. Of I myself. am. But I say the same thing over and over again. And that's the last thing I want to talk about is follow up. If you are not going to be redundant, then you are not following up. Now, I don't mean following up in Messenger. I mean following up with content. Can someone here recap what we've learned? Absolutely not. <laughs> I What I remember, what I can recap is we are supposed to rip off content and steal other people's content. Wait, Natasha's <laughs> still content plus horse crafts plus cups plus Doritos plus yeast infection plus make people cry plus authority minus expertise, authority to expertise plus Arabian prince equals profit. <laughs> oh, you did it, JJ? What you did? Hold on. Hold on. Where, where, what do you say? I, I, I'm sorry, I can't find it. Also, don't be lazy, but then be lazy. Do things lazy way, like steal people's content. That, that's what I've remembered so far. Content. There are people who had to see hundreds of my posts before they finally got in. Some people saw three. Some people saw 300 before they got a spot. Jeez. I don't know which one it's going to be, what piece of content it's going to be for you that pushes someone over the edge. But when, when they're getting... Um, they're they're getting information from the company and then they're still there they did something on your post they saw your post they're seeing your content and then they see the message reiterated again tomorrow and reiterated again the next day and then the story told in a different way the next day and the story told in a different way well, chrissy jones followed me for three years three years good thing i was consistent so i'm just telling you guys it's that matters it just matters you just I just, I think that the, I think that the difference between the reason I've been able to be so consistent is the way that I think about it. I don't, I don't care if I enrolled anybody today or yesterday or tomorrow because I know numbers and I know that I have nine, nine people added themselves to my form today. That's, that's above my five. So I'm good. I'm good. I don't know when they'll convert. I don't know. I'm just going to do my job. My job, what I get paid for is to show up and create those five posts and do that every single day. That's my job. And I do it like it's my job. And I've done it like it's my job every single day. Since how many, how many of those posts are ripped off? Melissa. It's the day I started four and a half years ago. And that's why it works. <gasps> you do need Melissa Collins emojis. I'll try to remember to make those this week. It's just it's con it's the it's the consistency and the redundant also julie said she gave everyone permission to steal her videos she did which means if she's giving permission for people to steal her videos i absolutely have permission to react to it i mean i do anyway because it's copyright law i can but you know sometimes they get a little weird let's see so so telling the story in multiple different ways over and over and over again also here's the really good news if you guys can commit to getting really good at being consistent, imagine if you could do it for one year 
every day you did a really solid call to action post for one year, you do realize that you would probably never have to create content again, right? Because it comes up in your memories. So funny. Sometimes. Don't forget, I have 275 people on. If you haven't liked the video, we're trying to get to 300 before we get off. We will do it one day. People will be like, I get like messages. People are like, is that post about me? Nope. I have posted that every year for the last three years. I just copy paste it and change the change a few little details like the dates or whatever. Um, so think about that. What if you just got really good for one year and then you could repurpose content constantly? I repurpose content all the time. It's that's why it's not so great. Fantastic. And I'm so glad for three years ago, Melissa, and two years ago, Melissa, because some days I'm tired. Yes, she is on the corporate side. I don't know what she does for the job, but she is on the corporate side as well. And I don't want to figure it out. When I have all that content sitting there and just pops up at the right time of the year. Beautiful. Nice. nice. So think about that. And also what would happen to your business if you actually got consistent and did not quit on yourself for one year in a row, what would actually happen? Like what would happen? You know, what would happen? You guys know what would happen. You know, what would happen? So it does, Darren. I know, me too. And that's the thing. Darren said this form makes it 10 times easier to be consistent. He's addicted to getting names on it. I am as well, Darren. I am as well. Um, and that's what you that you have to get addicted to the process, so, not yeah. the result. I think that is what I was trying to say when I said what's kept me so consistent. Sarah said, wait, 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 wait. They have this woman in a corporate position. Oh my God. Yes, they do. She's the she says she's the chief marketing officer. <laughs> is I know that that form will convert. So I don't care. Nine people enrolled today. 100% of the people who got on the form yesterday enrolled. 100% of the people who got on the form today didn't. I, I don't know why. I don't care why. They will at some point. They will convert at some point. And so my job is to just put people on that form. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm just committed to it. And I stay doing it and stay consistent. And that's how I have these constant, consistent enrollments because I just have not... I'm not taking that 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 foot off the gas. Nicole Whitworth said, "Info group versus forms are more important. To add people to the form first. Yes, right, Jules. Or you will lose your prospects. You should absolutely add them to the form. The um, form adds them to the info group. Y'all don't need to do that. They get a text over and over and over again. Follow up over and over again. Have you joined our info group? Have you checked out our info group?" We're doing that for you. Not really, Your Jay. job Not is really. to put people on this form. I promise you, guys, if you, uh, you, you don't, I, I just think some of y'all don't even understand what we're doing. We're literally, I'm literally, it's, it's all my words. It's all my language. It's all my follow-up. It's all my closing techniques. It's literally like Melissa Collins is following up and closing all of your leads for you. Are you sure? Because you're not. You're known for, well, I guess you let us know you steal content. So that's what, you know, I, I feel like she has to understand why it's hard for us to believe what she says because she steals content. That's what she told us. Can you guys go get me more leads? I have a really high close rate. Like, just think about that. And then I'm going to close. Show us. Why, why, why does she say all this and never show, show us? Like, show us. So that we can go, okay, yeah, you do. Or, or do you not have the high close rate? All their leads and all their leads and all their leads. And we're very close to adding AI to it. Very soon, your people are going to be able to have a dynamic conversation. So when you have people who, customers who are like, I just want to know how much, how many grams of Moringa uh, is in the product. They'll get an actual answer. That means so good. We're really close. Um, or they'll say, or they'll say, I tried to sign up, but the URL isn't working. They'll get a dynamic answer back from an automated system so that we'll help them get signed up properly. I'm just, it's coming. And I'm just going to say this to you, like I said to you before we launched the automation, when that, when we get that AI layered on and the first AI is going to be rudimentary and then we're going to improve it. But even the rudimentary one is going to be, I'm just telling you, it's something to get really excited about guys. If you have not started creating content, you've not started leaning into doing the daily workflow, <laughs> you're going to miss out. The people who are doing it, this this next version of this automation is going to, it's going to increase 
we're going to at least get to 25%. I cannot wait to see. I, I, I cannot wait to see what happens with her automation stuff because I just haven't seen much growth with lab. Like usually when a, an MLM is growing pretty heavily, there's like stuff going like, you know, they're, they're being talked about and blah, 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 blah. In this world of MLM being 50 to 60% down as Colleen or Megan Deschart would say, where does lab stand? Hmm. Median. And that means that what that means, median, that means that some of you are going to be converting at 80%. Just watch. So. Uh, Samantha said, when I'm talking about spiritual stuff, then how do I segue into CTA? Click the link for products and income. Or when Colette is talking about horses, how does she move into CTA for product or income? You mean you tell the story. You're honest about it. Go answer the questions in the launch post. Why are you doing this? You know, it's a separate post. So, so she's not talking about her horse stuff. She's talking about, um, you know, she can simply say like horses are expensive. They're expensive. In my opinion, I don't know. I don't have a horse, but I think they're expensive. 101 more likes needed. All right. Suckers. Like they need their, like they get their teeth done. They get their pedicures. They get these horses out here getting, I know somebody who does horse massage. Do you know that you can get your horse a massage? I know equestrian women out here who haven't had a massage in three years. Their horse is getting a back rub every week. These things are expensive. So she could very easily talk about, talk about that. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Super expensive. No, it does not make sense to me at all, Samantha. Um, she said it, but it seems random to post spiritual stuff. Then my next post about products and income, they're totally separate. Um, go look at CNN's newsfeed online. Do you think they're worried that one story is different than a different story? That's their literal job. Melissa, you are terrible at this. I want to let you know you are really, really bad at this. Whatever you're doing here currently training, you are really bad at it. Like, really bad at it. Like, like you really think you're freaking. You really think you're freaking going hard? You suck at it. To be like Frank, I mean, she told everyone there they suck. So why can't I say it? This is a news feed. Your channel is a False news equivalent. feed. False equivalence fallacy. Absolutely. Like what? It doesn't all have to be the same thing. <laughs> you are very welcome, Shirley. Love the casino clean. Oh, Desiree. Mel she said, Melissa's brand is logical fallacies. I figured it out. You know what? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. What's Melissa's brand? Logical fallacies. Yeah. Think of the daily workflow. Yeah. Everybody loves that. Oh, gosh. Knows. Jean said, when people from my launch post say they'll go fill out the form and they don't, do you reach out and ask why? Yes. Yeah. Just talk like a normal person. Like, So should we have a brand and or a niche or whatever you want to call it? Or should we just be random all the time? Because she's telling us at first to like do things the same every time. But then it's like CNN does it, does a different post every time. Talks about something different every time. Should I talk a lot about horses or should I talk about something different every time? The what she's so confused hey um here's what i would say i would say i'm guessing you didn't get a chance to fill out that form like you said you would yet say it like that maybe in the future melissa is asking if we can add personal conversion rates but you can also just do the math just number of people on the melissa you do the math and then show it Show it to us. Form divided by people that purchase. It tells you on the form that they purchased. Rude. Yeah, she's being rude. You need to put more people on the form, Joanne. You only have three people on your She's so condescending because people are asking her questions. And then she says something like Hannah P says, talk like a normal person. What kind of advice is that? Just like Hannah P says, talk like a normal person. That is so condescending. What are you teaching them? Form, that's why. <laughs> Now she's like, I'm telling you, I'm a stalker. I never, I probably by heart know how many most of you have on your form. You guys don't even realize how bad of a stalker I am. 
That's horrifying. Micromanager to the extreme, terrible leader. Why would anyone want advice from you when you're going to be rude and condescending? And also, why would anyone want you as a leader when they can't trust you or expect you to be kind when they need help? Um. Oh, yeah, Darren has horses, too. Colette, have you seen Darren's horse? His horse walks funny. He's got a funny walking horse. I think he's supposed to walk funny. He's a Tennessee walker, but it's hilarious to watch him. Got to go ride that horse. Dory is asking, how much time do we wait between posts? That's a really good question, Dory. Um, and it's dependent. It depends. The answer is it depends. If I'm having a post do really, really well, um, so like the cup and the two girls post thing that I did, you know, the Stanley Cup post, I tried to post something about two hours after that, and it just got z zero people saw it because that post was getting so much engagement. It wasn't even pushed into the newsfeed, so I just deleted it. Um, so you kind of have to learn how to play with it and 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 get a feel for it. Um, there is no hard and fast rule. But if you have a call to action post and all of a sudden, like if you have a launch post and people are commenting on it, I would not post after that for hours, maybe even a day. I would leave it sit. Um, if something's working, don't. Don't mess it up. No, you do not get a notification if they unsubscribe because that is on a totally separate system. This thing runs on four separate systems and that has nothing to do with your back office. It has to do with our cell phone carrier. Um, is there a specific time when texts are sent out to our people on our list? I had someone go to my list and opted out of text because it came at 2 a.m. That means that they signed in at 2 a.m. That means that they signed your list at 2 a.m. So. Oh, this is so sad. That's awesome. Lisa said in three days, my engagement tripled. I let go of fear. He's retired, Darren. All right. I mean, I, Joanne, you just asked me how to get more people at the end of an entire training about how to get people to fill out your form, bro. Come on. Like rewatch this training when I put it in the app. Why would they want to rewatch an hour and 14 minute training when they've already sat through all this? You need to fix your content. You need to build authority so that people will opt in. Um, but it's all about authority. So you just don't have authority with your network. So you've got to figure out how to fix that. You got to figure out what are you providing to your network? What are you giving people? How are you building that authority up? Okay. All right. That's all I have. Oh, thank God. <laughs> We did it. Everybody, we did it. We made it through another Melissa Collins video. I don't know if she's going to have one up for next week. We'll have to look at other stuff next week, probably, but we'll see. Wow. Also, by the way, she hasn't done barely anything in the group. She's done these little, in the um, planner group, she's done these little like millionaire mindset posts. She's done, not done videos, nothing. She's barely made a few, she's made a few posts on like millionaire mindset and some very generic things, but I want you to pat yourself on the back because you, you, you survived that. That was awful. I really want some chips and dip now though. Dang. Anyway, thanks for being here. Y'all the best. I have a video that's about to go out for members, um, tonight. So if you're a member, you'll get to watch it tonight and everyone else will watch it later tomorrow, um, or have access to watch it later tomorrow. Thanks for being here. JJ, that was a lot. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not anticipate that. <laughs> Shorter spurts of her are easier. Um, I'm glad that y'all spent over two hours with me. Y'all rock. Um, don't forget to like it before you get off. Before you hop off, just like it because we're trying to get that 300 likes. I think that'd be super fun. <sighs> have a great night, everybody. And get some rest. And have a good week. And don't join an MLM. Okay, bye. Follow me.